uh, now it's time to read and modify the uh, virtual memory by using HyperDVG. The syntax is also the same for both WinDVG and Win, uh, HyperDVG. If you previously have an experience win, with WinDVG, you can probably, you, you definitely know that the DB commands is used for uh, showing an address in the uh, format of the by, uh, if, uh, single byte. Uh, so you can use the uh, DB and C something like this. You can specify the address after this command. And also we have a, a DC command or it uh, shows in 32-bit format. Uh, or in DB uh, in uh, D word format, uh, yeah, this is pretty common in using uh, debugger. There's also another command for sure, two bit, uh, which is called D word. It's exactly like the previous command, uh, but the difference is that it doesn't shows the text. Also, you can uh, view the memory in Q word format two or uh, in 64 bits by using DQ command. Uh, the thing is that if you you can specify both uh, symbol and uh, <clears throat> both uh, as the function name and both uh, uh, symbol name uh, from uh, the target debugger. For example, I can specify that I want to see a function, the memory of the function. Let's see, I want to see the x allocate full with tag function in db format. So it says that uh, it cannot resolve the symbol at x allocate full with tag. Actually, I didn't provide the tag. No, here it is. This is this is the uh, memory uh, located at this address. Uh, we can also change it by using eb command or e uh, ed command or eq command. Uh, each of them have different formats. For example, if I want to uh, change uh, the the function or if we want to patch this function, which is definitely not a uh, good thing. But for no, I can just uh, modify the ntx allocate pool with tag with uh, nope field with nope it doesn't make sense but and in order to see how it works you can see that it's now changed now definitely if i continue this debugging we will see a blue screen of that so i just try to return it to the uh, to the previous state just to avoid a blue screen. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. No, I press G and continue the debugging normally. 